super flip, which is one of the hardest tricks in the book. I was like, one day I want to make this trick. He was just taking lick after lick after lick, just <laughs> killing himself. In 2016, I rode my last competition, then I've stopped for about two years, and now in uh, 2019, I want to come back stronger and better than ever. For this comeback, I want to show up with the super flip, and uh, for becoming the best, you have to be coached by the best, and that's why I contacted Mar Gomez. I was a little busy at the time, but he messaged me, and it was pretty interesting because uh, he wanted, he was interested in coaching. Um, but most importantly, he wanted coaching on doing a super flip. This is a very technical trick and, and very dangerous. I mean, you're essentially letting the ski go and you're hanging from the ski with um, the super flip levers. I mean, you can ride around and get used to it, but actually what I'd rather do is have you not flip it in yet. Yeah. Uh, let's do short peaky setups. Yeah. This one, we're gonna fight everything we just talked about. Yeah. Because this is a separate, separate style for separate tricks. So I came over from the United States uh, armed with a few parts. Mainly, um, what I saw out of his jet ski's performance was a lack of hookup. Freestyle is all about getting maximum hookup and launching out of the water, and you need maximum efficiency in the pump in order to do so. We were working on my setup. Uh, Mark took a new pump with him, the Torrent Pump uh, Modified Ninja 159. Yeah, getting started, it was rough, man. He, uh, he, we baby stepped it, we got through the setups. I wanted to make sure that his setup wakes for that, specifically for that trick were good. Uh, we did the best we could. He took to it the first day and actually made some pretty good progress. I mean, he was doing it. We weren't really landing it. We were kind of falling out of the sky and crashing into the water, but this kid's tough as nails. <laughs> he took so many hits. Time after time after time, he's, uh, I swear that kid's made out of rubber, man. He just kept bouncing back, sprained his ankle, uh, said he thought he broke his finger at one point, but I think it just went numb. Yeah, but now your body's starting to tell you, hey, all right, damage control. Okay. 
Quite good to keep them nice and frozen. Yep. Cool. I mean, it's gonna hurt even more when it's, but it's good to keep it cold right now. Yeah. Not everything was going like uh, as planned. Um, we had a, we, I made a lot of crashes. So Mark uh, and I, we were getting a little frustrated about it. You're panicking a little bit. That's why you're like, ah. you're all tense. Yeah. You know, because it's it's here you're focusing on, not the grip. Yeah. Because when you actually, when you actually go, you can loosen your grip a little bit you feel the stock catch you, mm -hmm. and that's then what you pull back off of. Yeah. The OVP system will get your steering forward again too, mm -hmm. but the tubes is the cheapest and most effective way. I, when I was doing competitions, we removed this. And it actually <coughs> it worked. I didn't die. As far as I know. Yeah, didn't die. So, yeah. So Mark and I decided to uh, get training done in uh, February. It's very cold now, um, especially in Belgium. There's almost uh, ice on the water. But we thought it was like very important to get it done now and not later this year. Um, because competition season is coming and now we're le learning a lot. We are working on the jet ski, um, learning some new tricks. So hopefully we get everything done uh, for the next uh, world championships from UIM to come. Am I fucking just that cold or is this fire not hot? I'm fine, like, um, I feel like it's blowing cold air on me. This is fucked up. Yeah? Yeah, it isn't that warm. Oh, I know what's happening. What's happening? The bottle is frozen. It's frozen? Yep. So yesterday uh, we were testing uh, the new setup on uh, the jet ski. Uh, after that Mark got me some tips and tricks and we have to change uh, the riding style. So uh, now, yeah, to uh, advance the riding style it's better to have a shorter handle pull. Uh, it wasn't helping me a lot on uh, trying the new super flip. So now we are trying to get uh, things a little easier by short, uh, shorting uh, the handle pull. In American words, Niels is starting to become a better rider, so we need to get him a more badass setup. In order to be more of a badass, he's <laughs> got to get forward on the ski. So that's what we're doing right now. It takes a little bit of time, then we're going to go out into the water and he's going to crush it. End of the story. <laughs> I made a big uh, crash yesterday, so my foot is really fucked now, but I won't stop until uh, the super flip is done. So we're going back on the water today.
bit my tongue. You bit your tongue? Yeah. Dude, imagine what you would have done without that helmet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Would have been paying for a new job. No, I'm getting. No, I'm getting tired. My hands, my arms. Yeah. Whew. Before landing my first super flip, it took us like about 60 or 70 uh, attempts. It was the best feeling. I mean, he's on cloud nine because he just did the, the trick he sought out to do. God, that was just such a good feeling and I'm super proud of Niels. He hit me up and had a goal in mind and you know, but with all the coaching and parts I could bring, at the end of the day, you still got to bring it to the water. He got freaking beat up, but he just kept coming back for more like Rocky, man. I think he's got a really bright future ahead of him for competing and putting on shows, um, and this is just the start.